Hello everyone, welcome to the end of week 31. It's really, really hard to believe that there are only about five more weeks, not about, there are five more weeks left in this school year. Um, we have so much to do and so little time, but we're grateful for every day that we have. Um, this week we had presentations on Ramadan and we're really grateful for our guests that came in and taught us about Ramadan. Um, we also had lessons, the first through third graders did lessons on types of clouds and they said they really enjoyed that. So I appreciate, um, appreciate that feedback from them. We also talked about fairy tales and what it meant to be a fairy tale and types of fairy tales and we found parts of fairy tales. Uh, the Olders talked about main idea and what is a main idea. Um, had some lessons on homonyms and predicates and double predicates and double subjects and then also um, on the rules of plural and nouns depending on their levels. Today we talked about what seeds we like, might like to plant for our garden because spring is here and we're ready to start working on that. So they have a list about a mile to a mile and a half long of all the things they would love to plant including bushes and types of bushes and trees and they want all the fruit basically and most of the vegetables. So we thought it might be fun to ask you, do you have any extra seeds lying around at home? And if you do, would you be interested in sending them in? Please don't go out and purchase anything new because we do want to um, work on reducing, reusing, and recycling. So if there's things that you already have extra seeds on of, we would take those. Also, we're going to start planting those seeds next week. And so we could use um, empty cans um, that have been cleaned out, like, like the cans you might find peas or green beans in. Um, we could also use empty yogurt containers. Those would work as well. So we can start some of our seedlings. Um, another thing... I feel like I'm asking a lot from you guys this week. Oh, if you wouldn't mind when you drop them off in the mornings, just to watch them make it at least halfway up the ramp, preferably all the way to the door, because I am sitting there and inside, it just makes me feel a little safer if you kind of have seen them make it to the ramp onto the sidewalk, preferably to the door, but I know you don't want to hold up car line either. Um, and we need some more Eco Science Fair drivers. So if you are planning on driving, please let me know because um, we need to make sure we have enough spaces and cars for all of the children to go. There are 23 of them and I will be gone that day. So please drop me an email just to say, I'd be willing to drive and I have this many spaces in my car. We'll probably try to arrange it so that people who are on the same, in the same groups, ride in the same cars together. But of course, if, if everyone's parents are going from that group, then they'll probably wanna ride with their parents and that's totally understandable. So we'll do the best we can with that. And um, that's about it for this week, I believe. Oh, newspapers, if you have newspapers at home too. Um, I could use some newspapers for an activity I'd like to do to help with erosion on our hill. Um, like always, if you have any questions, feel free to email. If not, have an amazing weekend, and I will see you all on Monday. Bye!